Hi, and welcome to another episode of Haltex Technically Speaking. Today in the workshop, we've got this BF Ford Falcon, and we're gonna be installing this Elite Pro Plugin ECU. So before we get into the installation video today, I thought I'd take a few minutes to answer some of the questions that have been across all of our social media and YouTube channel since the release of the Elite Pro plugin for the Barra range. Now, the first thing that we need to know is that this thing is a direct plug-in replacement for the factory computer. We take the factory computer out, we plug this one directly in, it uses the same three mounting holes, so there is no need to change any of the mounting. It simply bolts in, we hit the key and the thing starts and runs. The next part about it that is different for the Falcon guys to something we're not really used to, where the Falcons were primarily flash tuned. Now that means that we plug a laptop in through the OBD port, we adjust all of the settings inside the factory computer. Now, this is a really, really good way to tune some cars until you get to a point where the car's making a heap of power or we've made some big changes that the factory computer doesn't really like or it's really hard to manipulate the tune. On these, things like aftermarket camshafts, for example, are very, very difficult to tune in. With our Elite Pro plug-in, we can simply plug it in, tune the car just like you're used to on any other Haltech product. So we don't have any limitations of a factory system behind us. One of the other excellent features of the Haltech Elite Series Pro plug-in is flex fueling. Flex fuel for the Falcon's not available on the, on the factory ECU. So using flex fuel, being able to mix any percentage of petrol and ethanol to get the most out of your engine is one a really big deal for the Elite Series that I'm really looking forward to seeing the unlocked potential of a lot of these cars once everybody can start driving them on petrol, ethanol or both. Lastly, engine protection. All of the Elite Series ECUs have some form of engine protection so that we can shut the engine down or limit it, maybe limit the throttle based on our air fuel ratios, our oil pressure, our fuel pressure, our coolant temperature, a huge range of conditions so that you can take care of your costly engine. The last thing you'd want is for something to overheat or lose pressure or lean out when the ECU knows that that's happening it can limit the engine so that you can limit the destruction. Another question we commonly get asked is, can I use the Elite Pro plugin in my engine conversion? Well, yes, you certainly can. And often it makes a lot of sense because you buy this engine out of a wrecker. So you're taking the engine out of the car and you might be putting it in your old school Ford or something completely different. The wiring harnesses on these engines are still very new and nice. They don't really have any problems. So you may as well get the engine and the wiring harness. That way you can plug it straight into your Haltech ECU, power it up, hit the key, and your old school conversion is started and running with minimal fuss. Well, without any further ado, let's get this Pro plug-in into this BF Falcon. The Elite Pro plugin's really gonna shine with this caliber of engine setup, and I'm really expecting it to make a huge difference to the power and the drivability of this engine. Now, the first thing that we're gonna to need to do is remove the factory ECU. It's bolted down with three bolts, which are actually shear style bolts, which means that when this car came out of Ford, they had put three bolts in, they tightened them up to the point where these bolts actually shear off and leave you with a flat head. You'll notice in this example, we've got the three heads sitting up at the moment, just so you can see how these bolts were screwed in. So what we're gonna do is tighten them right up until the head snaps off, then we'll show you how to pull them out. Now once these tamper-proof bolts are holding the ECU down, there's a couple of different methods to get them out. First, you could use something like a pair of vice grips along the top. You can use a hacksaw blade and just gently go along the top or something like a really fine Dremel. Um, personally, I really like to use just a little hacksaw. I use my hand on the hacksaw blade and just gently come back and forward until I cut a slot where I can use a normal screwdriver, get in there, give it a bit of a bump down and snap them to open them just like a normal screw. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. And you'll have to do it three times. All right, we're finished cutting. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is surprisingly hard work, but they are tamper-proof bolts. So 
If it wasn't hard, they wouldn't be tamper proof. So now I've cut a nice slot in here. I'm gonna put my hacksaw blade down. I'm gonna pick up my giant screwdriver. We'll just sit it in the slot that I've cut. A few good bangs down, all your weight on it, and a good twist. And she's out. So that's it. Once we unscrew that, we'll get all the way out. There we go. Well, that's it. One out, two to go. Okay, so now that we've easily removed those three bolts, all we're gonna do is lift the unit up. There'll either be two or three connectors underneath, depending on your series of Falcon. This one's got three. There's little locating tabs in here. All we're gonna do is go unclick one, unclick two, unclick three, and your factory ECU's out. Before we bolt down the Haltech ECU, I'm just gonna quickly put the comms extension cable on does have a comms port on the back of the ECU here. So we've managed to remote mount the USB cable up here, just so it's a little bit easier to get to. If you're not gonna be communicating with your Haltech ECU all the time, no problems to plug it in, tune the car, then remove it from the base of the unit altogether. So now that we've got the laptop set up, we've got our software on, we've gone online with the ECU, there's a couple of things we need to do before we try and start the engine. So we're online here, I'm gonna go into the main setup page and you'll notice some stuff flashes up red straight away. The first thing, plug-in information. When the units are shipped, they're set to none. If I just click on that box that's red so I know that it needs attention, straight away it asks me, what type of car is this? Is it a Ford Falcon BA, six cylinder, naturally aspirated manual, a turbo model, a ZF model, a BF, an FG? There's a whole bunch of different ones. So we need to pick what type of model this car is so the ECU can program its CAN language correctly in order to communicate with the car. So in this one, I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna say it's a BF six cylinder turbo six speed automatic. As I go down, I'll keep addressing all of the other parts that are highlighted in red. So the next one, vehicle CAN system. So the first one talked about the wiring pinout in the car. So what type of wiring harness is in this car? The second part talks about the CAN messages. So BF six cylinder turbo six speed auto, because this car hasn't had a conversion or anything like that, everything is from the factory. So the same gearbox, the same harness is in this same car. Now that I've set both of those things, I can go through and apply my changes. I'll go through and because it's an electronic throttle car, I'll calibrate the electronic throttle. So I'm going to go through here and I'm going to go for step one, zero actual pedal position. Okay, I've done that. Now, full throttle, 100%, so I'm holding it to the floor and I'm pressing calibrate. Make sure to press right down on the pedal because if you don't press it all the way into the carpet, when you're racing it at the track and you push down a little harder than you've calibrated, it might go into a limp mode because it doesn't know to press that throttle a little bit further. So make sure to really press the throttle down hard. The next one is a throttle body calibration, so I'm clicking on that and now you might hear the throttle body clunking back and forward. It takes about 30 seconds or so, and it'll go through and map out that electronic throttle so that it's got all the right parameters for this particular throttle blade. So that's just going through now. Our fuel, I'm just gonna change it over to ethanol petrol blend. 
going to come down here to injection system, injector flow rate, we'll reset the ECU. So now that we've let the ECU know what type of car we've got, what type of engine harness we've got, what type of gearbox we've got, what fuel it's running and what injectors it's got, no reason why we won't hit the key, the thing will start and run. Keep in mind this thing is on ethanol, it's a pretty cold day, so we'll give it a start up, get it running. Once it starts and idles, then that's the time when we take the car off to the tuner and extract the most out of your Haltec ECU coupled with your Barra powered Falcon. So, foot on the brake, hit the key. Let's get tuning.